Hey guys, it's Corn here, and I'm happy to say that I have two people here with me today. The first is Jake Petrusi, who's the head blogger, and Bruce Denson, CEO of Game Wager. So guys, would you mind telling us a little bit about yourselves? What's up, guys? My name is Jake. I'm 22. Uh, I've been playing games since I was really young, about four or five years old, starting with my Game Boy and Super Nintendo. And then uh, when I got a little older... I uh, got my original Xbox, and when I got Halo 2 is really when I started to fall in love with the uh, first-person shooter genre. But ever since then, since I was like 10, 11 years old, um, I've been all about playing and watching every FPS game there is, like Call of Duty, Halo, Counter-Strike. Um, known Bruce for like a little over 10 years now. We met on Xbox, actually, playing Call of Duty 2 when I was, like, 11. <laughs> and uh, ever, ever since then, just been playing games, you know, not pretty much nonstop with each other. The reason why he decided to pick me up for this position is because he knows, like, I'm pretty knowledgeable about the game. He knows how closely I follow the scene and Counter-Strike scene, that is. And he knows that I can bring a little bit of expertise to the table. So, um... I wouldn't consider myself like an expert analyst or anything like that with Counter-Strike, but definitely feeling confident that I'm the right man for this job and that I can bring bring a lot to the table. We all agree. We all agree. Thanks. What's going on, guys? Bruce, been involved with esports for a long time now. Like Jake said, we started playing together in Call of Duty 2 about 10 years ago on Xbox. Uh, I always love competing. I just, you know... Loved watching Halo back in the day. Started with MLG, with, uh, you know, all the old guys, freaking Final Boss, and <laughs> all those guys. Yoga man. Brothers. Watching those guys, it was just like we wanted to, you know, like I wanted to play. So I uh, started competing as soon as it was possible, which was Black Ops 1. Uh, went to my first event in Columbus. Didn't do, the, didn't do that great, but, you know, <laughs> kept it moving. We uh, went to all the events that year. And I competed for six years on and off, uh, traveling the country all across North America from, you know, California to Atlanta to Orlando, you know, just playing COD and really falling in love with the competition. Uh, the dream. The dream. It was it was awesome, man. Back then it was a dream. Today it's, it's a bit different for kids. People can, you know, grow up wanting to be professional players. We just wanted the chance to even try. Um, about two years ago, I started watching Counter Strike, and it was the first time I watched Counter Strike, and it was just, it was, it was the best. It was better than Call of Duty had ever been, uh, spectator wise. And once I got into playing it, it was even better. I wish I never played COD as much as that may sound shitty, but Counter Strike was just, you know, a true love, and that's what really made me want to make this site and you know make it possible. Okay, so I'm sure there are a lot of people out there who don't know what Game Wager is, so would you mind telling us a little bit about the website? That's funny, Quinn. I don't think anyone actually knows what it is. <laughs> right, I'm I don't saying. think so. Yeah, I've like had a lot of questions like, what is this? Oh. Like maybe a couple other people. He just told me what it was. <laughs> <laughs> he, he works for us and he doesn't even know what it is. It's, it's that under wraps. <laughs> no, basically, uh, Game Wager is going to be an online arcade Um with a little bit of an esports twist to it, it's going to be, uh, you know, traditional arcade where, you know, you're going to go to the arcade, you're going to purchase your coins, or you're going to go ahead, you're going to play the games that we offer, um, and then you're going to use what you win to check out with awesome prizes. It's not going to be, uh, you know, your traditional Chuck E. Cheese prizes where it's, you know, you paid twenty five dollars for coins and you got a thirty five cent prize. That's kind of lame. Uh, mm -hmm. you're going to be able to, you know, upgrade your whole setup. You're going to be able to get a new mouse, a new computer, a new keyboard. You can get whatever you want. If you're good enough at, you know, playing the games that we offer, then you're going to be a, a happy camper, and we'll be happy making you happy. Cool. All right. So, um, like, what kind of games are the users going to be playing? Well, at launch, you're going to have uh, two different types of games that we're going we're gonna to have at launch. Um, one of them is going to be a jackpot style game where we're going to offer up a, a, a prize. Say, uh, for this example, say it's it's a mouse. Um, everyone up uh, that wants to enter the jackpots, you're going to enter 10 coins, and 
um, there's going to be a limit of how many people can enter the contest. Um, so there's not going to be, you know, someone with a lot of money entering, you know, 50 coins where you can only, you know, afford to put in 10 coins. Everyone's going to have an even shot at winning that prize. Um, so it's a little twist on something that we've seen in this community in the past with jackpots and stuff like that, but it's going to be more fair and everyone's going to have the, uh, <coughs> the same chance of winning. Uh, the second portion of the website that's going to be ready at launch is going to be the predictions page where you're going to be able to go in and you're going to be able to place your predictions on certain esports matchups and I'll uh, I'll let Jake go a little bit more into detail on that. Right. So, when you uh get to the esports um portion of the page, basically going to be a list of matches between, you know, teams like throughout the day or maybe like within the one or two days where you can place your prediction on you know, which team you believe is going to win. And the way the odds work is the more um, predictions placed on one or the other team, basically going to be the odds and how, like, how much you'll win back if you predict correctly. So you can either win more or less depending on how, um, how spread up the odds are. Okay, now you mentioned that these are going to be the games at launch, but are there plans of adding more games in the future? Yeah, for sure. Um, we just we wanted to get this portion of the website out. Um, you know, the Counter Strike seasons are in full effect. We're going to have DreamHack Las Vegas out um, during during the launch, so we wanted to get the site out there and get the name out there. Um, but yeah, there's going to be a traditional uh, arcade section of the website um, here in a couple months once it's you know done being coded and everything where you're going to be able to play traditional arcade games, you know, your Pac-Man, your uh, whatever. I'm not big on arcade games, but Pac-Man. For me, you're going to play some Pac-Man. Everybody knows that one. <laughs> yeah, Pac-Man. I, I don't even, what, like, uh, give me another arcade game. Like uh, Asteroids, I think, right? Yeah, like like Galaga. Galaga. That's what I was thinking, Asteroids. So, so you're going to take, uh, you're going to go in um, into the arcade section. You're going to put in uh, one coin equivalent to 10 cents um, and you're going to play that game now you may ask why why enter a coin the whole point you know behind the website is to get something out of your entertainment and your money um, so say you're you know really good at pac-man so you put in your 10 cents and you beat the pac-man high score you're going to get everyone's coins that entered and played that game that didn't beat the high score then obviously you can take those coins play jackpots you can go to the esports prediction page or you can go to the marketplace you can check out get yourself a new mouse pad a new computer whatever whatever it is that you're saving up for so let's talk about predictions a little bit uh what games and what esports will we be able to make predictions on right um to start out we're going to be featuring the upcoming um dreamhack masters las vegas event for counter-strike global offensive so you're going to be able to make predictions on the set group stage matches, and once you know the event plays out, you'll be able to get into the final bracket as well. And uh, once that um, tournament ends on February 19th, we'll be covering upcoming CSGO Pro Leagues and you know, the larger lands that will be playing out throughout the season. And as the website develops over the coming months, we're going to expand into other um, big esports titles such as Dota 2, League of Legends, maybe even Call of Duty, Smash Bros, etc. The website's also going to provide a blog section where you're going to be able to catch up on, you know, game wager news, uh, anything going on with the site, any updates. Um, and you're also going to be able to catch up on your favorite esports. You know, if maybe you don't really know too much about Counter-Strike, you'll be able to go over there what Jake has to say, um, you know, other call do other titles. We're gonna have uh, you know specialists in those in those categories as well, giving little write-ups and you know just kind of bringing the people some insight that maybe never been too much involved in esports. Try and want to get into it. We'll be a uh, all-in-one site where you can get news, get informed, and uh, have some fun. Yeah, that's that's like my main position in the site. Um, I'm gonna be doing my best to bring, you know, to bring as much insight as I can to, you know, just the general lay of the land and the scene, you know, how events are gonna play out, team changes, just stuff to keep you informed and keep you up to date. Because there is a lot of stuff 
that you have to be informed with. And you know, most people don't want to have to be scrolling through Twitter all the time to find like little tweaks and stuff for the team. So hopefully, if I do my job right, you will only have to come to Game Wager <laughs> to know what you plan. need. Before we end this, I, I wanna I wanna take a little shot in the dark here, Jake, and I want you to tell the people who's winning next Sunday. Winning Las Vegas. Who's gonna win? Uh, Strawless. I think I don't know. Back to back, huh? Yeah, I'm I'm gonna give them back to back because, well, there's been so many team changes after this major. And, you know, it's only been a couple of weeks, and, like, it doesn't, teams haven't really had enough time to prepare. To, so, Astralis, you know, they're hot right now. They just won the major. They're going to be doing exactly what they've been doing. They don't need a tweak. They haven't had to fit a new player in, haven't had a new coach, anything like that. They're going to be rolling. But I don't see them staying dominant or anything like that. I think some of these new teams that formed, like the French Super Team and even SK Gaming, I think they're going to give them a run for their money once they get in the gear. But, Strawless, you heard it here first, taking Las Vegas. We'll All right. Sunday, Jake. We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I hope I'm not looking dumb here. <laughs> That'd be bad, yeah. They don't even make that of groups. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Well, now that you have a little more insight into what we've been working on, we're ready to head off. So if you have any questions, make sure to leave a comment below and follow us on Twitter. Our links will be in the description.